producer, it's Özgün here. In this tutorial, I'm gonna make the drop remake of Save My Life from David Guetta and Morten. And if you're ready, let's get into that tutorial. So I put the track on the top. I'm gonna get a reference on it, but I'm not gonna play it on the video because of the copyright reasons. So I just wanna see the arrangement and the traffic of the track. So first, let's write the melody on it. For the leads, I'm gonna use this one and I'm gonna probably layer it with some other leads. It's from the Zenward freebie pack. It sounds like this. Let's give it a bit sustain. Sounds good to me. And now let's write the melody on it. I think it should be like this. And yeah, I think the melody is like this. So it's really easy melody. It's like an ARP. It's probably... They first find the rhythm, like this. It's always working, so make a catch a rhythm like this. Let's put the kick we need it to test it out. I'm gonna use this kick and I extracted it from the track itself. So if you don't know how to extract kicks, I have a tutorial about it, you can watch it. I'm gonna put the card to the top, so it sounds like this. It's a deep and small kick. We are going to fill other areas with the bass. And like you, you can clearly see how catchy is the rhythm, how it's driving you to forward. So maybe we can give it some Camel Crusher. Maybe we can make it a bit shorter to get the glitch effect too. Okay, I think it sounds good. And there's no other melody than this. We can use this one. He is starting it like this. So we should do the same. And let's automate the side chain so we don't want any side chain in the beginning. And again, maybe we can make them shorter too. Okay, I'm gonna use two more layers. One is this one. It's just a soft lead and it's really wide because this sound is completely mono. And let's get rid of its reverb. Sounds good. And I have one more layer. Red light from EDM 5 pack. It's a solid too, but it's really have a characteristic. It's 
it's not that hard to find the layers if it's solids. So there's almost every like big room or house leads are solids. So just try to layer them. And I'm sure there's some better layering than this, but as long as it's keep the vibe on it, I'm really happy. They all sound like this, but I think we can like put this one as main or we can do something like this. Let's send them all to separate channels so we will have more control on them. So let's say Zen lead, Nexus lead and call Silent One lead. And this was the lead final channel. Let's make the proper routing so we can work easily. Okay, let's start with the main layer. I'm gonna put a camel crusher on it and I'm gonna mute the camel crusher from here. See how wide this one is. Nice. And let's lastly add the Nexus layer. This one has a really nice character and a texture that can help us to maintain the sound of the Morten and David get the trick. It sounds good to me, but we can add a novel tech character with this techno preset. I like how it gives a top end. Now it sounds really dope, like really present to my ear. And let's put EQ and cut the loves. There's some harshness in the sound. I'm gonna dip it a bit. good and now uh, if you listen the track the original track you can see there's something different on the reverb and I think like and we can achieve it with a side chain reverb so the first thing I'm gonna put uh, for the peak controller I'm gonna add art acoustic and I'm gonna choose this preset. And let's connect this one to here and choose invert. So this was the first reverb, 
but we have to put another one. I have this preset, works really well, so I'm gonna just automate this one. And maybe we can give it more decay. So this reverb is gonna only fill the empty parts. Like this. And if it sounds too much, you can just lower the value from here. By the way, we could do the same thing with a separate channel from here. And like we could use a compressor to sidechain the reverb. Both is gonna sound different and you should try both of them, which one sounds best. <laughs> Maybe I can change the preset to it. So I'm trying which preset it sounds more natural to this case. <laughs> I think this one is better. And lastly, we can add S1 imager or any kind of imagers to make the sound a bit more white. So I'm adding it after the reverbs because I want to this preset affects my previous reverb and other things. It's like the order of the plugins are really making difference. <laughs> Sounds good, and we can sidechain the delay too. We can do the same as reverb. I think the original one got, got less reverb. Okay, let's go to kick and bass. So for the bass, for the sub, I'm gonna use a sample. So I find a sample like this. We could make the same processing in Serum, but to save time, if you have some sample that sounds like good, like sounds exactly like in your head, you can always use it to save some time. So I'm gonna send it to an mixer channel, call it sub, and all I need to just cut the highs if it's necessary. Let's see.
and we have to sidechain it with the kick. Let's use one of these. And to get the wobbling vibe, you can always do something like this. So if the key is E, let's go to the fifth, it's subdominant, it's B. But let's do it in the second octave. And we can boost several dBs to it to get some resonating feeling. And also we can boost this tonal key too. So it's clipping, let's lower the volume. I think now it sounds good. Let's try to hear it with the leads, but first we have to copy this guy. So we have to copy them like this and in here the melody is gonna be one octave up. And it's gonna go back to original theme. Let's copy them like this. And in here the melody is gonna be one octave up again. That's all. So, okay, let's put some impact to here. some more sweeps to help the transition. And again in here, in here. And I'm gonna put some this clean sweep down. And again, let's put the sweeps to here. And let's put some riser. Um, Choosing the sounds a bit randomly, but I know what sounds in there, but I'm not trying to find the exact same FX. So it's G, so let's make it F, E. And I think we have to put this sounds like this. And we need some exhaust in here. So I'm gonna use this one. I'm just gonna put some LFO tool but I'm not gonna make it 100% wet because I want to hear it like, I don't want it to be sidechained too much. No EQ needed. OK, 
Okay, let's put this one to here. But I think they have a uh, white noise going on like all the drop. Let's make it by ourselves with three times oscillator. Let's put the dice and send it to a new mixer channel. Let's cut the loves. And I'm gonna sidechain it like this one. So let's copy it here. So I have to draw a 16 bar length or 8. It's too much, but it's okay. We are going to trigger it two times. And also, let's make a volume automation to it as well. I'm always making the volume automations from Fruity Balance because like in the mixer, if I may automate it and in the future, if I need to change the volume of it, I need to find the automation. And it's a really big, like boring job. That's why I just put some three times oscillator and make all the volume changes in here. <laughs> And I think we can saturate the noise a bit. And we can put some stereo shaper to make it white. And I think we can put some uh, body to do leads. I'm gonna make it like this. I'm just gonna boost the lows, and like the highs a bit, the mids actually. <laughs> Not sure if it's too muddy, but I kind of like the I kind of like the nib sound. Like this is kind of essential to put in this situation. And I think we have to add some claps and some stuff. Let's use this cashmere loop. I'm gonna cut the super loss of it. That's all. <laughs> And in the last part, we can remove the side chain. Okay, let's go to the challenge part because uh, just listen to the track. There's some cool LFO sound LFO effects going on in the beginning of the break so I have something in my mind to make it but like if there is three of the leads it's really hard to make so maybe I can just take a one shot sample on it and I make the LFO or I can just duplicate one of the layers for example let's try with this layer we can clone this 
all we can, what we can do is put the ARP. And now let's go chord. And we can just automate this to get data for feeling like this. It's like same sound, but I think I don't know how to make it in the Nexus. So if you want to make the same trick with this, we can do something like this. Put the LFOs to here and also to the noise. And we can do like this. Or we can do the trick like this. We can just take a one shot sample, but we have to turn the every processing off and let's copy this value. We should make the, we can make it unique. And I think it's last four bars. Let's do it like this. Let's render this. And now we are going to send it back to its channel, put the volume same. By the way, I think we make too much body. Let's go a bit safe. We can just uh, move it to the pattern window. When you do it, now we have like LFO settings and stuff. And we can just put a new pattern. And in here, we can drag a line. Last four bars. And we can just automate the, oh, let's see. Something like this. So this all gonna sound a bit different. In the end, you ha just have to make an LFO, like maybe in here or maybe in here, the ARP. The ARP one was the most accurate one, I think. But as long as I have three layers, I have to make it like this. I'm gonna automate the speed and I'm gonna make AB compare to Okay, let's leave it like this and we can put this one too. And before we forget, we should send this one too. And I think they make, they made this uh, reverse sound like this. I'm gonna try to make the same. I just need a render, but it should be dry. Or I can just do something like this. I can put some long reverb to it and then put an Edison on it. And then I'm gonna send it to uh, which one here. 
and then just record. So we needed the long tail and I'm gonna put it like this so we don't need this anymore. I can just normalize and reverse. Now I'm gonna send it to a new channel, not this one. This should work and let's put it a phaser. No, I think it's flanger. And we have to put a re-space to here. If you want more highs, more crisp, you can go 12. If you want more solid, more deep, you can go 40, 24. In this case, we should use this. And it should be something like this. And also, I think we have to make the melody like this. Let's put an endless smile to it. I'm gonna do it like this.
Lastly, let's make some small tweaks on the master. It's not mixed properly, but I think we have to... We can color it a bit. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put some fab filter Pro Q3 and like lower the signal a bit because it's now clipping as hell. And I wanna make mono till 150 hertz. And I think that's all. It's not working. Yeah. So I'm just compressing it like six decibels and I'm gonna make sure it's always stays in the compression area. And then I'm gonna boost it like six decibels so it's gonna really tight. And the next band is like this. It's always good to check with the span what you are doing. And after that, we can just put ozone and maximize it. But again, I'm telling you, if you want more clean mix or more loud mix, you have to fix all the problems in the mix down. But for the sake of this tutorial, I think we can just maximize it and leave it like this. Okay, let's hear what we got for today. And I hope you can apply this to your own productions too, guys. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.